This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. It's good to have you aboard today as we get set for the Edmonton Oilers' final preseason game of this, the second leg of the cumulative NHL season for the Edmonton Oilers for 2022-2023. My friends, it's been a successful preseason so far. Things have shook out pretty much as much as we imagined they would with a couple of nice surprises, which is never a bad thing when you're at main camp, that is for sure. But that said, too, it's been a productive camp and one that will get us geared towards that Wednesday. My friends, Section 109 is going to be a beautiful game day place to take the game in from. That said, I can't even make words to start this video, so we're in trouble. So let me stop the preamble there and let's get over to the question I got to ask you to to consider over the next five or so minutes as we get through this one. Simply put, if you're new to the channel or you've watched all the time and you've just signed up for a YouTube account, whatever the case might be that you are not subscribed to Dolany TV, it is my ask of you this afternoon, this evening, that you consider over the next five minutes hitting that subscribe button and it just kind of enables you to be a little bit more able to access the Dolany TV content, I guess is what that would do ya? I really don't know the perks of subscribing on YouTube anymore because there's so many different ways you can go about it and it all just does not make sense to me anymore. However, folks, Matthias Janmark and, of course, Dmitry Samarukov put on waivers by the Oilers today. This is not really any surprise. It was going to be one of Derek Ryan or Matthias Janmark. It's Janmark who I, th I think Derek Ryan gets the benefit because he had a little offensive upside this preseason and secondary to that the penalty kill was often used in every single game he played so he got a lot of starring moments not that Janmark didn't but Derek Ryan being the incumbent Janmark being the new guy it's why oh why Derek Ryan ended up getting here so now I think the big question is over the next uh, 24 hours less than now that he's uh, been on waivers since noon if anyone puts in a claim because of a camp injury that they've been hiding or waiting to hear more on I think there is a pretty high chance that somebody, I'm not saying there is a high chance Matthias Janmark is going to get claimed. I'm saying there's a high chance somebody might put a claim in on Matthias Janmark. One step below, he will. There's a pretty high chance somebody might just simply because we're at that point of camp where you could use a Matthias Janmark on your team to survive the first 10, 15 games. Similar to what I was proposing with the rumor there that the Leafs had reached out to PTO defensemen when everybody got injured in that one game, and Jason Emers was a guy that I thought fit that profile that the Leafs might try to sign based on need. So that's where I'm sitting on that. And for Dmitry Samarukov, I mean, if you're looking for low-cost defensemen, yeah, okay. But again, I don't, I don't think anyone's going out there and trying to poach defensemen or anything from each other on waivers, especially when you've got all these young ta or I guess, older, talented guys like Jason Emers hanging around on PTOs. I know NHL teams, preferably to start the season, prefer to go with experience over youth just to get them through an injury pinch or something. So that is where I'd say the PTO guys that are available still to sign out of camps would be probably higher rank of priority this, the final day of Oilers preseason than a Dmitry Samarukov. And again, I could be totally wrong on that, and who knows, but just just kind of wagering it out, is that that would be kind of where I'd be looking right now, is you're, you you can probably also get them 25000 k cheaper, right? You can get them for 750 instead of 775 and that is why Dmitry Samarukov is on waivers, is simply put, Ryan Murray fits the profile to get to the cap better than... Sam Rukov does, but at the end of the day too, right there for the Oilers, is it's going to be one heck of a long run where you've got guys that are going to be versatile in your lineup, right? I mean, Dmitry Sam Rukov is going to be a guy who's going to see time again this year. Jan Mark will definitely see time, but just in the current configuration of the team, you got to do what you got to do, and that's why we see both these guys on waivers for the purpose of assignment to the Bakersfield Condors. And trust me, my friends in Bakersfield, I got to tell you, oh baby, that team in Baco is going to be so legit this year to start. 
I mean, they should be running teams out of the building. I don't know if they'll be half as fun when they get up here to Calgary in January, but if they are, oh, it's going to be some good games at the Dome, let me tell you. Anyway, folks, I'm Tyson. This is Dolan TV. Quick little waivers update. Got some housework to take care of. We're live at 6.30 tonight. I am up on Oda here.